Um, on that note, <laughs> a quick housekeeping question. Is there a particular reason no. for the, is, what should we expect to no. this later? Uh, well, I, uh, obviously, I, I want to be careful with that. I always am. Um, uh, there's always a possibility to hear from the president. I don't have anything to share about a, uh, anything to add on his schedule that's public facing. It's starting early, honestly, because of my schedule. And I appreciate you all being here at 1015. I have, I also have a busy schedule, just like all of you. <laughs> um, but uh, no, I don't have anything to share at this time. Um, and I wanted to drill down a little bit on Speaker Johnson's resistance to bringing up the Senate bill. So what is the White House strategy to get that Senate bill through the Senate, aside from your public comments and public pressure on Speaker Johnson? I mean, look, a couple of things I do want to, to do want to lay out. I love to do this, as you know. Uh, Washington Post, Speaker Johnson said, the package's failure to address U.S. border security makes it a non-starter. Johnson helped torpedo an earlier version of the legislation that includes sweeping border security measures and other re reforms. Axios, Johnson criticized the lack of border security provisions in the bill. And then Senate, Senate Republicans largely rejected a package that included border security provisions due in no small part to Johnson. The Hill, Johnson slammed the package for excluding border security provisions. But, there, but earlier this month, Johnson declared the foreign aid plus border security package dead on arrival. I mean, it is very confusing from what's coming from the speaker. Very confusing. He's been very clear for years, even as recently as November, December uh, of, last, of last year, saying how important it is to deal with the border. We can come up with a bipartisan solution. And all of a sudden, he wants to, uh, he wants to not move forward uh, with the border, as we know. And now we have a bipartisan support coming out of the Senate to move forward with an important package, a national security package, obviously, that doesn't include the border. And he doesn't want to move forward. And, you know, we should not be playing politics with our national security. That's where we are. We should just not be playing politics with our national security. Look, we have been very clear. We're going to continue to be clear. Congress has to act. They need to act. These, per, these components that are included in the national security supplemental or, or what came out, obviously, out of um, uh, the Senate is, is critical. It's critical to, to critical to our national security, not just abroad, but here at home. Uh, and so we're going to continue to call on Congress to act. Call, and politics should not be, be, should not be part of this. It should not be part of our national security efforts here. There is no strategy aside from the public pressure. I mean, are you encouraging Democrats to do a discharge petition or any other sort of look? It is up to it is up to Democrats in Congress to figure out how they're going to move forward in their in their procedure, right, to get this done. And also, remember, this is a bipartisan uh, bipartisan has bipartisan support certainly out of the Senate. And you've always you've always heard us say there is bipartisan support for uh, for for these uh, important uh, important. Um, uh, 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 components to the national security supplemental. So we've always said that. Uh, and so, look, we are going to put the pressure on. You saw that in the president's statement. You saw, you saw that when I came and spoke here at the top. We have to put public, public pressure here because it is something that is critical, critical to Americans, critical to our national security, not just here, obviously, but abroad. And, uh, and you know, I said at the, at the end of my, uh, my topper when I was talking about this particular piece is like the world is watching. The world is watching and they're not just watching what's happening here at the White House, they're watching what's happening in the House, right? They're watching what House Republicans are going to be doing because the Senate did their job. So what is the House going to do?